Lightning plays a huge role in making 3D scenes feel real, but Blender's default options can sometimes feel a bit limited, and that's where lighting add-ons come in, helping to create everything from realistic environments to cinematic effects. And in this review, we're gonna take a look at a bunch of different add-ons that tackle different aspects of lighting. But before we continue, I wanna let you guys know that the Blender market is going over a huge winter sale right now, with 25% off thousands of products from add-ons, modifier setups, courses, and more. And by the way, if you don't know where to start, I have in the description of this video a list of some of the best Blender add-ons out there. Without further ado, let's jump right in. One of the best add-ons out there I would like to recommend when it comes to lighting, especially general lighting, is physical starlight and atmosphere because it takes care of lighting by simulating an entire atmosphere, not just a sun and a sky. So instead of placing individual light sources, you can get a full lighting system that adapts to the time of the day, air density, and even planetary conditions. In addition to the sun lamp's intensity, color, and position, which are all adjusted naturally, making it a great option for both Earth-like and alien environments. It also includes built-in presets for different atmospheres, so you can quickly switch between looks like hazy summer or thick fog without manually adjusting a ton of settings. And a cool bonus is the binary sun feature, which is useful for sci-fi scenes where you want two light sources interacting. And by the way, the add-on works with both EV and cycles, but it really shines with cycles, where you can get physically accurate lighting and shadows. The only thing to watch for is the number of adjustable parameters. While it is easy to get started, tweaking the atmosphere to get exactly what you want might take some trial and error. But generally, this add-on is a lifesaver. Also, I would like to talk about Flare 2. As you know, not every lighting effect is about realism, and that's where Flare 2 comes in. It focuses on lens flares, adding light artifacts like streaks, starbursts, and reflections that you would normally see in a camera lens. So instead of manually adding these effects in post-processing, this add-on lets you generate them in real time directly in Blender's viewport. The automation makes the setup easy, because the flares can be attached to any light source, and sometimes it's gonna be an object or even empties. And the add-on dynamically adjusts them based on the camera's position. Obstacle direction is also included, so flares fade out naturally when blocked by objects, just like in real life. When it comes to customization, it offers a ton of control. Basically, you can adjust how flares behave, tweak the brightness, add color shifts, and even create anamorphic streaks for that cinematic look. It also supports blinking effects for things like emergency lights or flicker and neon signs. The next add-on I want to talk about is about extra lights, because it is all about photometric lighting, which are lights that behave like real-world fixtures. So instead of guessing brightness values, this add-on lets you work with lumens, which is by the way, the real-world measurement of light intensity, making it easier to get physically accurate results. Basically, the add-on includes over 60 light presets, covering everything from basic point, spot, area, and sunlight, to specialized IES profiles. And these IES presets are particularly useful because they mimic how real bulbs project light, adding realistic patterns and falloff. Each light also has a Kelvin temperature setting, meaning you can switch between warm tungsten lights, natural daylight, or the interesting fluorescent lighting with accurate color values. Exposure control is another useful feature. You see, Blender's default lights can throw off a scene's brightness, but this add-on includes a one-click exposure adjustment to balance everything in an instant. Spotlights also behave more realistically, keeping their brightness consistent when the beam angle changes, as opposed to what Blender can offer by default. Another interesting add-on I want to talk about is called Better Lighting. 
If you've ever used Blender to make a render of your animated scenes or even still shots, then you already know that making great models with amazing textures isn't enough. And this is where an add-on like this can come into play, because it is made specifically to help you achieve and create sophisticated lighting effects to a certain extent. But what I like the most is how fast you can do that. Better lighting comes with a lot of custom lighting presets, which you can use and customize to your liking. And these lights are also categorized based on the effect they create. It should be noted that the lighting presets, I mean the ones that come with the add-on, are animated and versatile, which is a good thing. Offering many effects, like caustics to simulate underwater scenes, nebula lighting effects, light passing through leaves or gobo effects, ripple and light, glitch effects, and so much more. And for very specific and important lighting effects, I recommend taking a look at Shaders Plus. So if you want to add realistic caustics, dispersion, and accurate thin film interference effects to your scenes, then this add-on will help you a lot. The caustics effect works in real time with cycles. It is easy to add because you just have to enable the shader's caustic strength slider, add a light, and you will be all set for a beautiful caustics effect that makes your renders look amazing. And through the default shader, you can control the strength, object shadow, prism, and imperfections. On the other hand, the dispersion effect works great with glass, in addition to liquid and lenses, because it mimics physically accurate light biases, making it highly realistic. And the add-on lets you control the dispersion, intensity, saturation, internal reflection, and the color shift. The thin film effect works in a similar way to the previous effects. It is physically accurate thanks to its formula that incorporates over 1000 vector math nodes to cycle through the natural interference range of light seamlessly. And this means you have precise control over the thinness of the film as well as its index of refraction and you can even control its intensity and glass blend. Add to that, it includes 69 presets that you can use directly from the add-on, which will give you different possibilities. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.